Hi, it's David. Uh, I'm showing you how to uh, put together a bassoon and get it ready for playing. So first, what you want to do is get your seat strap like this. And you want to put it on your chair with the hook on the right side. Like that. So the hook over here is on the right side. Then you want to take this part here, which is called the boot. You want to put it on your left knee so that this hook part is facing, uh, facing your right. So now you want to get the uh, tenor joint, and the e best way to hold it is with your thumb down there and your fingers like that. And what you want to do is you want to put it into the smaller hole here, with the this part's the whisper key, with this part going up. And you want to align it so that the little semicircle part over here is. I'll just move over. Is kind of like the same on this side. So now what you want to do is you want to place on the floor the same part here and you want to take the base joint to this part. And you want to take the thinner side and put it into the thicker hole of the boot. And you just want to hold it and push it all the way down and you want to make sure that it's lined up with the body lock right here. And then what you want to do is sometimes it's a uh, it's one of these ones that are built in, but you just want to drop the body lock down and you want to make sure that it's lined up, that the body lock goes all the way down so it doesn't, so it doesn't move. So it should look like that. So next, what you want to do is you want to take the, uh, the bell here and you want to line it up with this part of the bass joint. You just want to push it down so that this part is over here and when you do it you want to hold this down as you're doing it so that it doesn't uh, mess up this part so when you want to play so for here you can put on the bulk leg which is just this part here and what you want to do is you want to hold it as close to the cork as you can and you want to line up this part here with the whisper key you want to hold it as close to the cork as you can and line it up so that the whisper key presses on to that part just like that. And then what you want to do is you want to hold it with your thumb on this part. And you want to lift it up and lock it into your your lock. It's just uh, you just push it in. And then depending on where the vocal is, that's where you uh, you have to adjust it by sliding, uh, sliding your seat strap. So then at this part, you can put on your hand rest and on the hand rest part, which is usually on the, uh, on the boot, and you just untighten and then tighten it back up. Just like this, so it doesn't move. And then, and then of course you would put your mouthpiece on here. So now I'll show you how to take it apart. So first thing you do is remove your hand rest down, you unclip it from the bottom here, and then you hold it at the same spot that you did, and you put it on the floor. And then first thing you do is you take out the vocal, and if you've been playing for a bit, you'd want to hold it down and blow, just like that, and all the spit come out of the vocal, which is very important because you don't want mold on the vocal. The next part you take off the bell over here, kind of the same way that you did before. Um, I like to hold around here just so you get a better grip and you would just, it's pretty tight so you just pull it over and then just drop in your case. Make sure that the pad side is uh, facing up because you don't want the pads to get moist. So now um, what you want to do is you want to hold down by the foot and grab the Base joint up, just like that. And then you can put this back in your case. Make sure that the pads are, are facing up as well. So now you want to take off the tenor joint. You can do this on your knee or on the ground, but you can take off your tenor joint and you want to place this in a case with this semicircle side facing down so that the pads facing up. And you just want to make sure it's there. So you're doing to show that you didn't swap it. 
So now what you want to do is uh, showing you how to swab. So you lay on your lap, uh, pad side up, and you want to take your swab. Now for me, I have two, two swabs. Some people will have one. Um, this one is with the chain. So this one is for my bassoon. Uh, I use this one. So what you want to do is you want to put it in the small, the small hole first. No, it's the big hole. Put it in the big hole. Big hole first. Just like that. Oh, sorry, I get that mixed up. And what you want to do is you want to hold it like this and turn it over. And then it will come off the other end. And you just want to pull through it tight, slowly, just so it gets all the moisture. All the moisture. It's good to keep it uh, pad side up uh, because you know it's just good habit to form. You'd always want to keep them pad side up, so you can put this back in your case, and you put this part back in your case as well. And you want to grab the tenor joint as well because we also have to swab that. So now, uh, since I have two cloths, I take the smaller cloth. And, and you want to put it in, you want to hold it like you did normally, and you want to put it at the bottom so you don't put it in the whisper key spot here, you put it at the bottom. You just drop it in, make sure that's all the way in, like that, and then just slowly pull it out the bottom. There shouldn't be any resistance if you're using the right cloth, you just pull it back, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. So then you put your tenor joint into your case, just like that, and then you wrap up your cloth, put it in your case, and then you take the seat strap off, and you roll it up, you put that in your case, and that's pretty much it. Uh, for assembling the bassoon, disassembling it, and swarming it.